Hello everyone, welcome back to the Cyber Guy. So today we are going to explore how hackers might use the social engineering toolkit or they call it set toolkit on Kali Linux to craft a phishing email. So this demonstration is purely for educational purposes to help you understand and defend against uh, phishing. So now, are you ready to understand how phishing attack works and how to protect yourself? Buckle up and let's get started. Low cyber security in no time. So the first thing that we are going to do, we are going to just uh, try to set up our environment. So if you do not have a set to get uh, available, download it, you can type sudo uh, apt install uh, set to kit. Set to kit. And hit enter and enter your password and go from there. So I already have it installed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just type sudo set to Kit. I'm going to hit enter and then my password there we go so as you can see here the tools it's just very uh, self-explanatory it tells you you know how to use it so uh, if you want to social engineering you can press option one penetration testing option two third party modules three etc so in our case, because you know uh, social engineering is part of phishing, so we are going to press one and hit enter. Now inside social engineering, we have spear phishing, website attack vector, infectious media generator, create payload, etc. But in our case, we are going to try to do a website attack vector, which is number two. And we're gonna type two and then hit enter. And then what we want to do in our in that phishing uh, attack, we are, we are trying to get credential from a user. So we're going to press 3 and hit enter. Now we have three options, web template, site cloner, uh, custom import. You know, this is going to be like, you know, up to you. You know, if you want to clone your website, if you want to use an existing web template. Well, in our case, we are going to use an existing web template. We're going to hit 1 and hit enter. Now this is that you know you, you will need an IP address you know of that website that gonna going to look you know legit. So in our case we're gonna type that IP address which is that local IP and hit enter. And then they give you uh, multiple options. You, they want to know if you wanna uh, have a Java Java required or Google or Twitter. So in my case I'm going to type two because I wanna uh, a template of Google. Because this is, you know, the purpose of this video is to show how an attacker just trying to create a fake Google page to steal users' information. And then now it is cloning right now. So uh, as you can see here, uh, the clone is running on port 80. So uh, if we uh, if we switch our uh, to a different uh, page, so uh, we can actually if I open Firefox. I'm going to try to open Firefox. Okay, they say it is 10. Okay, I'm going to put that IP address and hit enter. As you can see here, this the page is loading. As you can see here, this looks exactly like Google. So, uh, of all the Google features, the only issue is, you know, this is why you, it's very important for you to always look at the URL. So the URL is just an IP address, which is it's not related to Google at all. So in other cases, you might see, you know, like X, Y, Z or whatever. All right, so we know that this is open warning. What we can do right now, right now we are going to just create that fake email. As you can see right here, we have, you know, that suspicious email going on right here and then uh, we are going to send it to somebody 
and then you know to do so you know uh, as you can see you know uh, this cyber guy uh, let's see that cyber guy did that cyber guy it sounds real but we have detected unusual activity on your account please click on the link below to verify your information and secure your account and then verify your your identity this is when i'm going to embed the actual ip address which is a fake google and then i can just put the ip and then let me verify to make sure that it's it's okay it's the same okay oh i think it's the same and i can click okay as you can see this turned into an ip link and then i'm going to send it to somebody this is the email that i received look at that okay see that side again we have detected an unusual activity in your account click on the link to verify so two things that is one with it that's why it's very important to pay attention when you receive an email so when i hover my mouse if you look at the bottom you see you know this is the ip address but many times you go to pay attention and they click and then we're gonna see what's gonna happen we will probably just feel redirected into that page and then uh, for example you put your the name let me see that's i guy one two three gmail.com my password is admin one two three four and then after when i'm done i click on sign in no i don't want to save it and as you can see this is you know probably automatically try to redirect me redirecting me to google and then once you put provide all the information and then we can just go back as the attacker now and to see the data that we got it as you can see so the information that we receive is the information as you can see here we're able to just get the email and the password so this is how easy it is for an attacker to just steal your username and password by creating a fake email that's why it's very important for you to just not only you like your family your friends it's very important to just you know teach them how to not click on a uh, email that looks suspicious because if only one click if you don't pay attention you can just be in a big trouble so yeah uh, that's all for today you know if you find if you find this tutorial useful make sure that you like subscribe and share now to learn cyber security anytime and anywhere for free. Thank you.